What's going on, everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your PS4 controller on your PC. So a lot of gamers now are transitioning over to the PC where they're playing Call of Duty, Apex, Halo, and obviously you want to get the lowest input possible on your controller. So I do have my PS4 DualShock 4 controller right here, as you guys can see. So we are going to be installing a software on our computer. I'm going you guys through the step-by-step on how to install it, how to use it. And it's actually very easy to do. We'll be able to do this in like under three minutes or so. So the first thing you guys want to do is go to the link down below in the description to this GitHub link. And once you're on this page, there's two uh, similar files. One's called hid USB F.zip and then one has the FN. You want to get the, the one that is just the hid USB F, which is the third one right here. So just click on it. It's going to download it in a second here. So click on download and then it's going to download the file. It's a .zip file, so you may need like a WinRAR or um, a program to extract it. So right here, um, it's going to be under my downloads folder. We're going to right click on it to extract it right there. And then it should come into the folder just like this. So you guys can bring this to wherever you want. Most likely, I would put it on your desktop if you're going to be opening this up every single time when you run your game, such as like Apex or Call of Duty. So here, you want to go into the folder, go into the driver folder. And then there's going to be a bunch of files right here. You want to run the setup right here. So right click and run as administrator and it should look exactly like this. So right here under devices, you want to go to where it says all and basically it's going to showcase all the devices that are currently connected to your computer. So right now I'm going to plug in the controller. So we're going to be able to detect which one that is. So um, I believe it's. I wasn't really paying attention. It's this one right here. So you want to look for it. It's a wireless controller. And right now the response time is at five. So we're going to be changing this to one. So what you want to do is select on your controller right here under the child's name. And then you want to click on install service and it's going to install something. It may ask you to get permission, just allow it. And once you have done that, you want to go to where it says default right here. So the selected rate, we want to set that to a thousand install. And then after that, check the filter on device and then install. And once you have done those three things, unplug your controller and that's going to disappear obviously from the program, plug it back in. And then there you guys have it. Your rate is at a thousand and your B interval is at one. So I know a lot of people are going to be questioning because a lot of people use DS4 windows as well to connect their controller to their PC. So if I load it up real quick, so I do actually use this um, while I run Apex, I'm going to open up the program. So we have both softwares open up we can detect our controller. So I'm just going to plug it real quick and plug it back in because my cable is kind of messed up. What you want to do is click on edit right here. If you go under the controller readings, you guys see it's at about 0.4.5. So obviously that is a lot better than being at five millisecond response time on your controller. So you got, this is a must have. If you are using a controller on your PC, uh, you'll be at a, you will notice um, an advantage. Because if you go back to the five millisecond on your PS4 controller, you will not want to be at that. You will want to be at under one at all times. So you guys see I'm using my left stick, my right stick, and we are about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 every single time. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. That's how you guys overclock your PS4 controller on your PC. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. That's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.